Okay, so career fair tips. Now I have some up here on the slide. I've also provided you with a worksheet. Okay, so the career fair starts at 4 o'clock. You need to be there, if at all possible, at 4 o'clock. So you need to at least be there, make plans to be there for one to two hours, depending on how many companies you want to visit with. I'm going to tell you, it can be very overwhelming. Okay? It is a huge room. There are lots of people, lots of employers. There'll probably be about 600 students. So it can be overwhelming. So give yourself enough time. Get there. You'll get your packet of information and you'll be able to map out where the employer is located so you're not walking around aimlessly trying to find. Um, you know, we map it out. But then, you know, you could, have, you could wait 15 minutes to even talk to an employer. Okay, so just give yourself enough time. You can be there for all three hours, plan on it. If you get done early, great. If you go up to a company and they're super busy, go to your next one. And I will offer this tip of advice for you. I don't know if this is on here somewhere or not. I don't think it is. Um, when we talk about your introduction, and you you practice that, that's, that's when you're going to use this at the career fair. So when you go through your list of companies and you say, these are the 10 that I want to talk to. These are the 10 that I would love to work for. Don't start with those 10 when you get to the career fair. Start with some other employers that you don't know much about or that you can engage in conversations with to practice. Please don't start if your number one employer is you know, uh, Burns and Wilcox, don't start with it. Okay, get some practice, you'll get more confident, you'll get more comfortable. Uh, so that way when you do get to Burns and Wilcox, I mean, you're, you're there, you've done it. Okay, take notes. Please don't take notes when you're at the table. Okay, engage in the conversation just like you would, you know, in everyday life. Uh, but when you leave the table, um, you know, step away, go to the bleacher area, and and jot some notes down because you'll write a thank you note for everybody that you speak with and they're all going to mush together and you're going to forget about what you talked about with each recruiter so um, your notes will help you with those please get a business card from everybody you talk to you can write your notes on the back of those business cards to help three 20 copies 25 if you're going to visit with all 78 employers obviously bring more uh, bring enough copies. Most employers, they'll have two or three representatives there. They're probably just going to want one copy. Prepare to answer questions about your previous experiences and future goals. So you need to know where you're going. If you don't, then, so say, well, you know, I, I'm not really sure if I want to do this or if I want to do this, or, you know, right now I'm really thinking, I'm really thinking accounting. So what you're thinking today is your truth today. They don't know that it might change tomorrow. Heck, you may not know if it changes. But what you communicate at the fair is your truth on that day. We are all allowed to change our minds, and that's perfectly fine. But to go up and to say, you know, I'm a senior, you know, I'm looking for a job, and, you know, I really could do anything, you know, uh, it, it's not going to do you any good whatsoever. So pick a focus. Um, if you have a couple different focuses, that's fine. Just communicate your focus to each employer. So be as many employers as possible. Leave your backpacks and your humongous purses um, somewhere else. Please do not bring them with you. If you're coming from class, there will be an area inside the rec room for you um, where you can leave those big, big ticket items. Okay? Um, it will be crowded, so we don't want you to lug in you know, your whole dorm room uh, on your back. Um, it's, it also is not professional. So bring, you know, can I, can I show it to the desk? So bring a portfolio or uh, you know, a file folder. You'll need something to carry your resumes in so they don't get bent. That's a perfect way to do that. If you have business cards, can you hand those out? By all means. Uh, you know, some of you have printed them on, on your own. Some of you have them through your organizations. Uh, bring those with you. It's a great time. Hey, let me give you my business cards. Do you mind if I have one of yours as well?